What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Spade here, and welcome back to an episode of Red Dead 2. It's a brand new day. It is now July 8th, and the time right now is 11.06 a.m. May want to turn my mic volume a bit. That's really good. I hate how the last episode ended. But that's just because we ended up having company. So yeah. That's why I had to end the episode so quickly. I was going to end up so there anyway, but we got to up to try to end it a bit quicker. Either way, can we just look at this horse? What the hell are you doing? There we go. You're back on the ground. <laughs> uh, what can we do though? I literally just put up the game. <laughs> Alright, so we have three missions right now. I think we'll probably go and just do this one. I'm going to avoid going to him for a good while. I'm pretty sure he'll still be there even during post game. I'll say this right now. This mission slash this guy's missions In my opinion, are probably the hardest in the game. I'm not making any promises that I'll actually do them. I'll probably try. <laughs> but I'm not making any promises and actually trying to do them all. I consider myself lucky if I can face even more of them. But we can at least visit the guy at some point. Now we gotta get rid of this $15 bounty. <laughs> Probably we should mark the post office a good haul. Just to get rid of that damn bounty. <laughs> I think we got that belly simply from accidentally running someone over. I think. And somehow escaped the city without dying, surprisingly. Well, let's make our way there as fast as we can. I may mean, need to up the game volume at some point. It's sounding pretty low. Yep. Yeah, I definitely would have done more recording last night. My game was just end up having company. And that just ruined my plans, I guess. That's what I'm hoping the recording doesn't glitz. Out of the way. Because I'm actually still uploading a video from last night. 
Yeah, I'm not even joking. Uploading videos ever since the new uploading system for YouTube showed up. Uploads are taking like three times longer. And that is saying a lot. Considering normally uploading a Let's Play video would take probably 8 to 12 hours. Now it's taking literally like 24 hours for a single video. And that is very annoying. Clear this ride up for you. We really do need to stop making money for losing uh cast pretty damn quick. Right now, where is that question mark? As my police say, some great. Hopefully, we don't cause more trouble. Alright, we gotta make this time. I'm going to slow down. Hello. Hulk, you ideal? Come now. We have an appointment. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least, sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is... Rains fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flats. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train That's crossing the here. river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh on done. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You 
you meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. So we gotta meet Eagle Flyers in a few days, alright. It was nice meeting you two. No, I was going to do a missing today. During this episode, I mean. But since this is episode 80, and we missed out on getting the male's party to be episode 80, let's hang over to Lolly. Absolutely sounds like a good number to hang out with him. My main man, Solani. What the hell are you playing at? Come on, up the stairs. I'll beat your ass if you keep talking that way. Come on, upstairs. Fine, I'll park you here. And now where's the boy? Ah, oh, there he is. You're looking soft as ever, Tom. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? <laughs> of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Of course we are. So, is the Hello. best. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Let's pause the catalog, then. Look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous. A very good choice, sir. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy... Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? That's so. He has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is... I know, I know, I will follow this again. Of free. Well, good enough, I guess. Save it. Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. 
You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so yeah. jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. I'm right behind you. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Hmm. The rails actually does look a bit cleaner. Make him look like a prince, sir. Why not? Bit of a different look. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, you're saving it all off. Cause that just looks stupid to me. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you actually click a button, I guess. So do we pomade it? We gotta at least try and look somewhat reasonable, right? I guess I was looking completely different. Hmm. I'm actually kind of liking this. My let's do that. And the palm card makes it look a bit stupid. Alright, what else could we do? Alright, this one's looking not too bad. No, oh, it's a Stick with the slick bag. So we keep it a bit bussy. Nah. It'll go back eventually. Like the pomade on this doesn't seem too bad. Might as well. Alright, we're ready to all there. Let's go. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation. As you was. Sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't quenny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me no shuffling and mumbling. 
Uh, before the regular ones. Yeah, so fully out this again. Ah, damn. I was hoping we could have free room get a good pits of the two of them. Guess we can't, oh. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, a driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called That's Desmond so. Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Not Don't so. worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. Who knows? And Probably what anyway. am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. And we're here. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. See you around, George. I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. No kidding. Gentlemen, a wonderful Look and so up, sir. You remember you? this pair of boys we met in New York? Yep, yep, I'm just going to keep doing this. Nice. Ah, good enough. Come on. <laughs> Let's stop with that. Is on dear old He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Not so. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on. Let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Not so. Now where can I get a cocktail? Let's just go to the table. Take a seat, sir. That's both. If anything. Let's play some poker. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Kelly. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how oh. are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> 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 we'll see about that. To hell with it. I'm gonna go ahead and fold. Nah, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. 
I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go, then. Sauce is in the back of the guys. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, yep, I thought about you getting in the hose. That's a soul. I just look better in a suit. I would There's stick to oil, somewhere. Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Call. Oh, yeah. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Why not? I'll call. Interesting. They're cowgirls. We won. Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. Well, I heard. Well. I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. As you so wish. You must know Leviticus Court. Uh oh, win again. Oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Oh, we got two kids. All oh, right. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the All author. All right. Fortune. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now... Forgive my lack of discretion, but, um, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash hey. these out for me. I, I started last week. Oh, hey, of you. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. So thing. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. This way. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next. We'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well. Nice view, if anything. Too bad it's a bit foggy. 
Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. So I think this all. Uh... I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Loot the safe, I guess. Idiot, huh? Alright, the soldier. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. You in here is looking pretty good. Really How much nice is there? Home, Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Nice. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Where's he going? We've only on got here? a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Yeah. Shot sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. Who this knows? is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. No garnish, no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Oh. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. Maybe. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Ah, uh, there's the hell. I see him now. And so I was. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> and so it goes hell. <laughs> Let's turn on that volume a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's a deal. I'm gonna really trust another one while I feel this carefully. Nice hit, Sous. Bumped him on the head with a ball. There's a guy up there. Like, didn't know this. Eh? Oh, come on, really? Oh, right, that's all you. <laughs> My bad. No kidding. Let's get this guy. Marker, come on, oh, run, just run, go. We gotta go. Come on. The HP is too low. Time to jump for it. We must land on Sarves. Hope it didn't hurt you, Sarves. I would still do it on top of you now. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did yep. we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a right linger, all right. 
We'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Huh. That person I would have let so escape it. But I like that Arthur just flat out takes it back once he knows it's legit. That's also like one of my favorite missions in the game as well. Easily top five. Maybe top three. Uh, how do we do? Win the game a poker with outsources help. That's easy enough because the game's actually scripted. After you clear... After your cover is blown, escape the boat in under 35 seconds. Five headsets. Eight minutes without taking any health items. Alright. Uh, we can't buy new servers from him. What else to do? Oh, he's, we can still visit him. And we have a missing here. Horseman Apocalypse. Oh, that, that's gonna be interesting. Oh, hey, Eagle Floods is over here now. And who is this? Jim Boy Callaway, part two, alright. Hmm. Should we head up back to Valentine? Why not? We are pretty much dead center in the middle of town. Let's fast travel to Valentine. Once we get to Valentine and public color in that episode. Just guys, I feel like we've done enough in this episode as is. God, what the hell happened there? We fell off our horse. How much to Valentine? Oh my god, 10 bucks. Oh well, we, at least we made some cast on that missing. Didn't know this till now. I don't know what it is about Souse as a kill though. He's easily in my top five favorite killers in the game. <laughs> and sadly, you just don't see him out in the field that much. Actually doing leg work. This is something about Sales I really like. I think I just like his flavor, his style. Just the way he talks, just the way he is. <laughs> is this a great girl? Or... Oh, hey, we have a question mark. Was oh, that one that was f that's finally sawing up? 
Oh, it is. Nice. I, I guess we'll do that immediately next episode. But for now, we are going to call it an episode here. So till next time, stay golden.